the methods available for removing hair. Laser hair removal would be the most successful in permanent hair reduction. It would be the most modern methodology available on, on the modern market, I guess. Laser hair removal is a progressively permanent procedure, necessary to treat over a period of 6 to 20 months dependent on your hair cycle and depending on the area in which you're having treatment. It basically works, your hair grows in three stages, so you have a growth cycle and it all depends on where your growth cycle is at on each treatment. So we can only kill hair with laser when the hair is in the first stage of growth, which is also known as the active stage of growth. This means that the hair is attached down at the base of the bulb, where it's surrounded by stem cells which feed and stimulate the hair shafts to grow another hair. So when the laser heat is emitted and it travels down the hair, it's all absorbed in the base of the hair bulbs and it destroys the stem cells, disabling the hair shaft from regrowing another hair. If your hair is in the second stage of growth, it means that the laser will only damage the hair. The hair has already begun to grow away from the base of the hair shaft, meaning that when we emit the energy down the hair, it's not quite reaching them all important stem cells. So all it's going to do is damage your hair, but your hair will grow much thinner and much slower after this treatment. The hair that's in your third stage of growth on any given treatment is almost about to shed away from the skin surface. When the laser energy is admitted through this hair, the energy is just evaporates. It doesn't actually go anywhere. So you will find after your first treatment that these hairs will just grow back at normal thickness and normal speed. But a couple of sessions into your treatments um, you will notice that your reduction and your hair growth overall will become a lot less um, frequent and a lot less slower. So how long does laser hair removal last? Well again it really depends on um, your growth cycle on each treatment. If we could control your growth cycles we'd have all your hairs in the first stage of growth and we'd have you done in one treatment but unfortunately that's just not how it works. So we need to obviously work with your hair cycles as your treatment progresses and we'll be able to give you an update on how you're getting on but until we've cut all the hair in the first stage of growth we will advise you to just continue with treatments. Generally you're looking at 6 to 20 treatments depending on how much growth you've got on the area. Um, it is really important that you come in on the right intervals for treatments so that you, your treatments are more successful and meaning you may not need as many treatments. Um, once we have destroyed the hair, that follicle is damaged for good, it's permanently removed. So it's really just down to hormones after this. So anything really can stimulate um, your hair to grow. We've got thousands of dormant hairs in our body. Um, what can stimulate them would be the likes of pregnancy, menopause, um, diet, medications, stress. Um, there's many different factors that can trigger these non-active um, follicles to stimulate and grow. If at that point this arises after you've completed a course of laser hair removal, you should just really continue on and have a maintenance session done to remove the new hairs. Um, but generally we would continue treating until we've gotten you to the point of 90% reduction. Um, at that point we'd be sending you off and it's really just down to the hormones after this point. In some cases laser won't work but that's like a one in a thousand chance that you may not see a result. Um, if that were to come up, we would advise you to probably try a different laser or maybe a different method altogether for removing your hair. And at Havana Therapy, we always like to say, feel beautiful, be happy, confidence is key.